There's something truly magical about the winter season in Animal Crossing for the GameCube. I find it especially peaceful and relaxing during the nighttime. Every year, I make sure to pop the game in, visit my town, and take in all the cozy wonderment. So grab some hot cocoa, a snack, and snuggle up in some fuzzy blankets, because tonight we are winding down and having a quick little chat about winter time in Animal Crossing. Of course, with all the snow on the ground, it is the perfect time to build some snowmen. It's genuinely really fun to do this. It can even be quite challenging too. Trying to bring two snowballs together from different areas of your town without them being crushed or falling into the river or the ponds, it's, it's not easy. And getting the correct proportions of the snowman's body and head is definitely essential for making the perfect snowman. And one of the things I like to do is build the snowmen, you know, next to something. Basically using them as decoration. They're gonna melt away after a few nights, but it's still a nice little bonus challenge to try and do this kind of thing. I also really love the sound that you make as you're walking around on the snow. It's a nice iconic crunchy noise. Just wandering around in the chilly evening under the snowfall and the moonlit night is so calming. I like to look around for some fossils to dig up, clean up, you know, some weeds if I see them, and of course, chat with my neighbors. I'm playing Dabutsu no Mori E+, so it's all in Japanese, but I gotta say, the GameCube title has the absolute best writing in the series. No other version of Animal Crossing is as well written as this one. You really care to talk to the animals because there's so much more dialogue and personality. For some reason, running errands for them is pretty enjoyable too. It's always fun to see what they end up getting as a gift from other animals. And while I'm out on my little night strolls, I often bump into some special visitors too. Sure, it might seem kind of strange for Gracie Grace to want her sports car to be shined up during a snowfall, uh, but you know what, I'm still happy to do it, especially for some rare fashion. It's of course always fun to take a break and write on the bulletin board by your home. I don't play this game with anyone else, so I mean, this couldn't be more meaningless. No one else is gonna see this, uh, but just coming up with random little things here is oddly entertaining to me. But perhaps my favorite thing to do in the winter nights is visit the igloos that the animals build. These are amazing and they add so much ambience. The inside is so dang comfy and peaceful. You can even play some little games and chat with whoever built it. The best part though is the fantastic calming music, which is perfectly accented by the gentle sounds of hot soup being cooked in the center of the igloo. I like to imagine that the soup is some kind of cheesy veggie soup. Oh, so good. I could just stay in here for hours. This is just blissful. About 20 years ago, IGN posted a video of a player just walking around outside the museum during a gentle snowy night. And it was the very first piece of footage that I ever saw from the series. It's a very nostalgic thing for me to visit the museum during a winter night, especially in the aquarium section. The blue lighting and the slow music makes this place kind of feel oddly wintry to me. Of course, it would not be the winter season without Toy Day, uh, which means a visit from Jingle, the black-nosed reindeer. I always try to play this game a little bit on Christmas Eve at least, just so I can take in the merry activities. I have fond memories of saving up shirts from Nook's shop and the dump, and then changing my clothing to trick Jingle into thinking I'm a totally different person so that he'll give me more presents. Oh, and I gotta say, seeing the town lit up with a bunch of Christmas lights on the trees all around you, well, that is, uh, that is especially charming. I remember being so giddy the first time I randomly saw this while playing all the way back in 2002. The game was just so fresh and full of surprises. And in this version of the game, the animals will even run around wearing little Santa hats. It's something so simple, and yet, it really adds to the special feeling of the night. And man, the music that plays on Christmas Eve in this game is so perfect. 
it genuinely fills me with so much Christmas joy just from hearing it. It's, it's amazing. And I can't forget to mention the awesome winter furniture sets that you can collect. These are some of my favorite items in the whole game. I love the jingle piano and how it plays your town tune, and the cozy jingle bed is the perfect spot for a Christmas Eve nap. I actually really like how the Christmas tree in this game looks too. It has some major Nintendo 64 vibes, but then again, the whole game does. Oh, and the jingle shelf even has its own mini tree, presents, and books on it. I love these little details. The snowman sofa and the bed look like a big, fat, snuggly snowman. Look at this stuff! It's so great! The Snowman TV is constantly broadcasting a peaceful snowfall with some of the most soothing music in the whole game. I think this is my favorite winter item. Now, New Year's Eve is more than iconic in this game. Even though many versions of Animal Crossing have released, myself and friends usually come back to the GameCube title to use as our official countdown clock on New Year's Eve. Seeing all the animals getting nervous and then celebrating like crazy is super charming. I also love how you can view the fireworks from their reflections in the pond. There's something so clever and unique about that. In Zabutsu no Mori E+, you can even use party poppers that you buy from Nook Shop. And finally, this video would not be complete without discussing the lighthouse. In January, Tortimer asks you to turn on the lighthouse every night while he's away on vacation for a week. I remember being blown away by the idea of actually being able to go inside the lighthouse. Even the simple task of flipping on the switch in here was somehow fun. If you turn it on every single night, he will come back and give you a special gift. Little stuff like this is what Animal Crossing used to be about, and I think this kind of stuff is missing from the new games. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this little video exploring the frosty winter time in Animal Crossing for Nintendo GameCube. While every season in this game has its own unique feeling, I personally find winter to be extra special.